Yo guys, my name is HM Toy Reviews. I come HM here. It's up to you. But today we have got a Marvel Legends Age of Ultron four pack figure set. This includes four Bruce Banner, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. Also, I don't have the packaging. That's because I actually got it for my birthday, so I just opened it. Um, I just like opened it and then saw all these, and now I'm gonna do a review on it. But it came out last year. But let's get to it and look at Thor. Um, so yeah, first we're gonna look down the figure, and then we're gonna look at the articulation. Now it just it does come with one accessory, which is Thor's hammer. So we're gonna look at that first. First, so here's looking at Thor's hammer. It actually has some um, good details on it. Um, so yeah, so you can actually, uh, but you can. Oh my god, it's not focusing right. You can actually see all the details on there, which is actually really good. Like he's got. Nice little um, details on the side. Um, so yeah, and he's got the circle thing there. And yeah, now the handle, what he like actually holds onto, it's a mixture color between brown and silver, as you can see um, inside there. If you look very closely, and then here's the little like string thing at the end. Um, so yeah, so it's got pretty good details. Um, on Thor's hammer, which looks good, and yeah, it looks good. Right, so now taking a look at Thor, um, he does look um, a bit like Chris Hemsworth, I think that's his name, um, he does look like him a bit, um, so yeah, so let's take a look at the head sculpt, now the head sculpt does look okay, um, looks a bit like Chris Hemsworth, not too much like him but it's okay um now you, i'll go into the articulation segment in a minute but yeah um i like the hair it has like good details in there like it goes from one sec it goes oh, it goes from like blonde to um grayish i don't know what the word is but i'll have a look like if you look there it goes from greyish to um like blondish like his hair colour. And then the face sculpt looks good. He's got the nice bluish eyes and um then he's got the blonde beard and some blonde eyebrows. And yeah, the paint came out okay. And you can even see it like tying like his hair there. You can even see it tying, which is pretty good. And then his hair like dangles onto the cape, um, which is here. And the cape actually does look pretty good. The um, cape looks okay. Um, it's okay. It's got like a rubberish feel to it. It's not like a plastic one, like a little I don't know what to say um, one. But yeah, it looks good. And then there's nothing really inside of the cape. And then here the detail gets really good. Like it's got the um, six silver like circles here and then all of this is really good detailed I like all the detail down here does it still carry on through there? yes it does you see the blue things there and his arms look pretty good just like a normal arm and the red there and then he's got the nice little things on his arms and then um, come down here and it just dangles like over his legs, this thing, which is no different to like one of these figures. Normally with every four figure has this. Um, but yeah, and it's got some nice silver and like goldish platinum look to it. And all the silver squares things there. And then there's nothing really down the back. And then just some normal like blackish bluish boots and then you can actually see some of the laces there and then he does have pickles at the bottom of his feet he does have some pretty good articulation but the head this is the only gripe the head doesn't move at all like he does have side to side movement movement but you can't really get it to look up and down and it's hindered by the hair that dangles down here um so yeah, but it does have a upper elbow um, 360 there. Um, he has rotation there, obviously. He has a double joint and elbow. 
and his hands move 436 there around there and it does move up and down I think yeah it does um, there um, it gets that into more dynamic hammer like holding shall I say I don't know what that is but um, yeah moving on down here he has a great ab crunch which crunches in quite far not the most far but it's quite far and then it does move back quite far as well that far and he doesn't have a waist swivel um, he has an upper thigh rotation followed by a double jointed knee and no boot rotation and his boots feet uh, move up and down and he does have that awesome ankle pivot and he does stand at about seven inches tall um, I actually didn't count it from the one I don't know why I didn't but yeah he stands at about just a uh, just a bit over seven inches tall also I was saying I didn't count it from the one in the Captain America Civil War um, video so that's what I meant then here's Thor standing next to the AOU Age of Ultron Hulk figure I am going to be doing a review on this figure hopefully but yeah here he's standing next to him then here he's stand standing next to the Marvel Legends Civil War Captain America then finally, here he is standing next to the Iron Man 1 um, 2008 movie Iron Man figure. Anyway, I hope you liked my review. If you did, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Peace. Peace out.